Hey guys, today is August 22nd and we are doing some patch notes and we all expected balance patches. We all expected white main nerfs. We, well, I expected white main nerfs. I don't know what actually is going to happen here. I expected some chromy buffs seeing as she's like a 33% win rate or something right now. So let's see what's going on. So, down to here, we see the assassins that were changed. Chromie, Kel'Thuzad, Raynor, Tychus. Imagine Raynor's getting a nerf, Tychus getting a buff. Kel'Thuzad, probably a change, Chromie a buff. Asmin in a nerf, supports, probably, I don't know, nerf for sure. I don't know, probably nerf a little bit, I don't know, maybe a buff. And Morales, maybe a buff. Warriors, Artanis, and Sonya, I'd imagine both of them are getting nerfs. Uh, they... Sounds weird, because Artanis, neither one of them really use that much in pro. So we'll see what they do. Maybe just changes for both of them. All right. Kromi. Damage increase, damage increase, bonus damage increase. Pretty simple. Nothing nothing too exciting. Kel'Thuzad. Death and Decay. Cooldown reduced, so you can use more Qs. Periodic damage increase, so his Qs do more damage. Uh, Frost Nova. Cooldown reduced. Again. Um, oops. Cooldown uh, damage reduced. So lower cooldown on W. A lower damage. Chains. Cooldown reduced from 12 to 10 seconds. Can no longer be used on structures. That's pretty big. Uh, duration reduced from 4 to 3 seconds. Then we have Master of the Cold Dark. First reward no longer grants cooldown reduction. Uh, but now the first reward gives you Glacial Spike. Which is pretty nice. Frost Blast. Which was your... Uh, your R that like sends out the the thing like Pyroblast. Minimum speed was increased from one to five, and it matches the starting speed of Pyroblast. Damage is increased. Eh, it wasn't really picked up that much because this one did so much damage. Shadow Fidger, the damage was reduced, the cooldown is reduced, and the mana cost is reduced. You can use it outside of combos, but during combos it's less punishing. In my opinion, before I get into the rest of Kel'Thuzad, my big issue with Kel'Thuzad was he was very feast or famine. He was very... If you guys were already doing well with him, he was way too strong. He's blowing people up way too easy. And if you didn't counterpick him uh, and he got ahead, it was over. But if you counterpicked him, no matter if he got ahead or not, there was nothing that he could do. He just was so... Either you win hard or you don't win at all. And he just wasn't that fun to play against because you're just always watching for the chains. You're always trying to reposition. And it just, it it felt like it changed too much of the game whenever he was played. And it wasn't that fun for me to play. Like, he was never fun to play against. Because if you, even if you played really well with the chains, if they chained two of your allies together, it was like, boom, two people dead. It was worse than getting like a, uh, like a hook on one person and one team member died it was just too dead every single time so it's just punishing level one talent <clears throat> bonus damage was increased on his w which they nerfed his w's damage but lowered the cooldowns so this probably evens itself out strip shields at level four shield amount was increased so it does more damage when you're stripping shields level seven glacial spike was removed they added a new one reduces the cooldown of glacial spike by five seconds and increases its damage by 250 percent it's pretty big. Uh, comboing that alone now is going to be really big because you can get a glacial spike out more often. Uh, you can also combo on an individual person and do as much damage as you used to be able to do. Uh, but you can't do like the damage to two different people as often, which is pretty good. Uh, accelerated decay, Q, bonus damage decreased from 25 to 20%. Remember, this got buffed baseline, so it probably evens itself out with that talent. <laughs> um Chain link now only requires one hero to be pulled by Kel'Thuzad's chain cooldown reduced by 4.5. Uh, again, works well with your your glacial spike that's on uh, default now. Icy grasp W level 13 new functionality increased the slow frost nova by 10%. Each time Kel'Thuzad deals damage to an enemy hero that's slowed by frost nova, its duration is increased by 0.5 seconds. Does this say permanently? We don't know. Um, but it seems like it's not permanently. It's just you hit those two people and then they get an extra one second each. Level 16 Arcane Echoes. Cooldown reduction increased by 1.25 to 1.5. Hungry and Cold. Adjusted functionality. Uh, enemies that are rooted. I'm going to zoom in just a tad more for those. I am on a 1440 screen. So what I'm seeing is a little bit different from what you guys are seeing on a 1080 when I move this into a different size. Enemies that are rooted take an additional 55 damage each time they are damaged by Kel'Thuzad. So, you can do a little bit more damage with your combos at 16 if you're in a 
closer range and you land your Q as well. Pretty cool. Uh, I think their idea is they... Two goals. First goal, they wanted to improve his talent diversity. That's why they moved uh, Glacial. Second goal was we wanted to reduce his variance and increase his reliability, which is what I said that he's Feast and Famine. Either he dominates horribly or he just is useless to the team. Rainer, basic attack damage is increased. Basic attack scaling has been reduced from 5 to 4. That's pretty big. He's going to be a little bit scarier early game and a little bit less scary late game. Ace in the hole, damage reduction, or his damage bonus has been reduced from 20 to 15. Needed it. Giddy up, baseline movement speed is reduced from 10 to 8%, and paint them red healing from penetrating ground has been decreased from uh, 100 to 90. None of these are really that bad for him. I, I think uh, this is a really good change for Rainer, personally. Tychus, basic attack damage has been increased by 2, which he attacks so fast. That's a pretty decent amount. Lead Rain, slow has been increased from 20 to 30%. It's a pretty competitive talent tier, so I think that's pretty nice to have that uh, a buff on some of those. Um, quest completion of Greed is 20% Damage bonus now applies to all non-heroic targets, not just minions and mercs. Meaning structures as well. Uh, Wrath, quest completion bonus damage is reduced from 100% of his Q damage to 75%, which is pretty necessary. Armor bonus reduction for his W talents, which people have started actually picking up a different W talent now. So I think that's interesting. Uh, they've been picking up the one that summons the two units as it makes it easier for you to self-stack. But for situations where your team is stacking with you, this is a good change. Total Annihilation damage reduced from 5% to 4% of target's max health. And Demon Warrior buff duration reduced from 6 to 5. Just nerfs on both of these. Uh, both pretty necessary, to be honest. Supports, Deckard, I'd imagine is, uh, this would be nerfed again. Yep, it would be. This trait is still the main thing that's being picked up. Potion of Revival healing is increased from 30 to 35%. That's his AoE one. Super healing is in, has been increased. People just don't want him taking this anymore. It actually really bothers me because this was his wave clear. So it gave a support an ability to, to work in other areas. But now it's going to go from being a must pick to these are going to be uh, possible options, which is okay. Uh, this will be picked in the situations where your team's getting a lot of auto attacks off, and these will be picked in other situations. That's their whole goal, is to increase talent diversity. Bottomless fast recharge time has been increased from 6 to 8 seconds. It's a pretty big nerf for a talent that wasn't a must pick. Um, but whatever. Cloud Serpent no longer has a cast time, currently 0.25 seconds, and no longer cancels existing move orders. That's nice. So you can walk, and then your Serpent just kind of flies to someone. Gale Force E blind duration bonus reduced from 1 to 0.75 seconds. It's weird. Again, it's not the talent that was a must pick, so I'm surprised it was nerfed. Um, and level 20 Mist Weaver heal reduced. This was actually pretty powerful. Uh, if you were in W build, it was extremely powerful. And if you weren't in W build, it was still nice to have an extra heal. Uh, but I think Cups upgrade was also picked a lot of times. Morales, I'd like to see a buff personally no longer cancels existing move orders no longer cancels existing move orders so just quality of life change that's fine stukov uh base health was increased health regen is increased and his basic attack damage has been increased that slap already does a ton of damage vigorous reuptake bonus healing increased from 25 to 30 percent in my opinion this was the main build that i actually was using with him so i think that's a pretty decent buff uh I Not the buff that I wanted, though. That's my notification, by the way. White Mane, Clemency, uh, passive cooldown reduction increased from 3 to 4 seconds. This was her underperforming build. I figured that this was going to be her main build, her W build, because it just seemed like it fit the most roles. And I think Blizzard's trying to do the same thing. They want it to be the main build and have the other builds be uh, the niche picks. Her Q talent, Desperate Please, mana cost reduction has been decreased from 30 to 15. Mana return from uh, Desperation stack increased from... Oh my god, that's a lot of mana. Uh, at two stacks, it used to give you... At one stack, it would give you 30 mana. Two stacks, it would give you 30 mana. And three stacks, it would break even on the mana costs. Now what's going to happen is at one stack, it's going to give you 45 mana. At two stacks, it's going to give you 60 mana. And at three stacks... Uh, it's going to be, I don't even know, uh, 45 mana back? It's This is way too good right now. You'll never run out of mana in your W build, put simply. Uh, Indulgence, your secondary lash returns mana has been reduced. That's weird because this talent wasn't really picked at all. Um, 
Radiance Q, heal amount reduced from 200 to 175. That was, in my opinion, her biggest power spike heal. Uh, so that's pretty good to see that reduced. And Judgment Day, damage bonus reduced from 50 to 30. This is a very cautious nerf for, for White Mane, and they buffed her build that was underperforming. I'm okay with this, in my opinion. I'm fine with this. Still think that she's going to be a must pick for now, though. Uh, Warriors, Artanis, we have the armor amount increase from 15 to 20 on his psionic synergy, and we have Plasma Burn, his level 20 trait damage increase from 60 to 70, so it wasn't really that great of a talent, so I think they could buff that a lot more safely. Sonya, Shattered Ground, Splash Damage bonus increased from 75 to 100, so this is... Um, This is weird, but it's just increased. Um, that's her. So her initial damage of it is still the same, but the splash afterwards is increased. Giant Slammer W, new functionality, Seismic Slam, and basic attacks deal 1.25 to target's max health as bonus damage. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, fix some issues, damage reduction, visuals. That's nice. Uh, Kelsizad fixed some confusing wording and tooltips. Cassia fixed the issue where it caused Valkyrie to fail to pull the target if Cassia entered movement commands during... Oh, that's why that's been happening. It's good to know. So those are the changes that have happened today. I think overall they were pretty good. Stukov, I'd like to see some buffs in his other builds. Because the funny thing about this build was this was his highest win rate build on hot slogs. Like, I'm tempted to actually pull this up really quick. Because I swear, this was his best build currently. Um... So I'm going to do this. Uh, let's go the last two weeks. And if you look at his build, look, Q, 50% win rate. Vigorous, I guess it's not quite there. But like the build that I, I guess E build is still the highest. Well, I stand corrected. So um, there's a buff for that. And then we've got uh, the white main. I think the nerfs, well, I, I like the changes. Her W build getting buffs and her Q build getting nerfs. The Q build was kind of face rolly. It was really easy to do and it was way too strong. I like the the simple nerfs that they did to it. Should make it to where her mana costs are a little bit more reasonable. Uh, the rest of the change, I'm sorry, I'm getting all these notifications. Normally I turn off everything, um, but I just wanted to get this video out quickly. So I apologize for all the notifications. Anyways, um, I think these are some pretty good changes. Rainer and Asmodan were a little strong, and uh, the rest of them are pretty good. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these, and I will put this link in the uh, in the description as well, so you can check out this link whenever you'd like. Thank you all for watching.